It is Monday morning and I'm on my way to class. And it is way later than I thought it was. This is going to be bad. So, uh, last night was awful. Had to, well, I had to finish up my uh, radiology homework. One of the things that we had to do was write a, um, so at the back of most textbooks, or not the back, but at the end of every chapter of most textbooks, there are chapter review questions. And our uh, radiology book is the same. It has chapter review questions. And our teacher assigned us um, questions that we had to answer out of um, some of the chapters. The catch was that we had to um, type the questions and the answers. So, you know, copy them out of the book, the questions and the answers, and then highlight the answer. And then, um, you know, highlight the correct answer then find the page number that it was um, referenced in the book and write a little kind of blurb about why that's the answer or, you know, your proof or something like that. So, um, the, it, there were four chapters and to type all of it up, size 11, Arial font, uh, ended up being eight pages. Let's just say it took a long time. Now I've been, you know, I, I had been working on this for a while, but it was such a tedious and time consuming assignment that I would just do, work a little bit on it and then move, you know, then do something else and go back to it. So I finally had to do, you know, finish it last night and oy. The other thing, um, so yesterday, um, I took, we have our second oral facial anatomy quiz is online and it was available. So I went ahead and took that quiz online and I got a 95. So yay! <laughs> uh, you know, obviously we all, you know, want to do better than we did, you know, the first time and all that, so. I don't have any lipstick on. But, uh, so I got a 78 on the first quiz in oral facial anatomy. And then I got a 95 on the second one. So, that's good. The only problem is those are the only two grades I have in that class, so right now my average is not the best in that class. Well, it's a B, but, you know. So, anyways, so um, I finished that. Um, I finished the um, oral facial anatomy quiz. Um, this weekend I did, uh, most, well, I did some of the workbook pages for radiology, uh, that are due on Thursday. I did, um, all but two of the oral facial anatomy page, uh, workbook pages that are due tomorrow. And, uh, read some of the anatomy uh, chapters. The only problem with the anatomy stuff is that um, it just it's just got some videos posted that I think I'm going to try and watch before class because the it's just not there's so much going on. It, this chapter is about tooth eruptions and all of that and it's not really making much sense to me. That sun is really bright. So Anyway, so today is my only second day of radiology 
lecture um, because the first day was the first day of school and then the second day was uh, Labor Day, so we didn't have school. So this is only our second day of, of lab, I mean of lecture, of radiology lecture. So if that's going to be, it's kind of weird because we've had, you know, two classes of all the other, two lectures of all the other classes except for this one. So it feels a little weird. Um, so I'm gonna have that and then I will have my one hour radiology lab. So, um, so this is the beginning of week three. So woo -hoo, that's kind of cool. And I will talk to you guys later, bye. Hey guys, it's Monday afternoon and I am leaving campus right now. And uh, so radiology uh, went really good this morning. I was able to turn in that crazy long um, chapter review questions. And uh, then we had lab and we worked on learning, um, we started learning landmarks and we're learning the interior, so the interior um, and maxillary parts. So the upper jaw in the front first. And um, so we're learning those landmarks first. The fun thing is that we are going to, so next, so on Thursday, it's our next radiology lab and we will be finishing up our first full mouth series. And um, then we'll, we'll, we will be doing critiques. So we've got a little form that we have to fill out um, critiquing ourselves, uh, recognizing any errors that are on there and um, just uh, right now, so on Thursday we won't have to um, list the landmarks that you can see in the radiograph, but um, in the future, because we're still learning them, um, but in the future we'll have to list the landmarks as well. And it's very interesting because uh, the right now we're in lab, we're in radio, radiology lab, so for any errors that we do, we will only have to, um, we only lose one point. But as we go into clinic one, two, and three, we start losing more and more points for every error that we have. So, um, yeah, it's actually kind of scary and yet interesting. Uh, the some of the, especially because some of those errors are so hard to, they're so common. You know, trying to get the pictures of the spaces in between the teeth on the bite wings and, you know, just learning how to make sure that it all shows up in the correct way is a lot more difficult than, well, not necessarily difficult, it's just, there are so many little things that, you know, I mean, even if you just move it a tiny little bit to the left or right or up or down, how it can make a huge difference on what the picture looks like. So, and you only allow so many retakes and that sort of a thing. So it's a very interesting. The other thing is um, we are also going to be so tomorrow is oral facial anatomy. I finished my workbook pages uh, in between uh, la a lecture and lab today. So I got that done, but tonight I have to do, I had totally forgotten about this. I have a, um, it's a SWAT uh, reflection. So it's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And our teacher wants us to look at our last two weeks in preclinical class 
and lex uh, lecture and lab and reflect back and you know use you know um, find a strength a weakness and opportunity and a threat in there and um, from now on those we do weekly and then we also have um, I have to finish my drug cards we have three drug cards due on the 13th which it's Friday or Thursday I don't know <laughs> um, Wednesday, Thursday Wednesday 10 11 12 13 so yeah Friday it'd be due Friday so we've got three drug cards due on Friday uh, and then Tuesday so yes so tomorrow we've got I already did the quiz for oral facial but we have we're supposed to be have read the chapters before we go in and I tried to read those oral facial anatomy chapters in the book and it just it's not making sense so she's got some videos on there that I'm gonna try and look at so things are looking pretty good I think I'm kind of getting on top of things but on the other hand, you know, we've got our first test in radiology next Monday and I don't know, it just seems like there's so much that is coming up and is, I don't know, it's a weird balancing act. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys. It is Tuesday morning, and I don't know why I look nice today. It was kind of a weird, I put on some navy uh, capris, and then I put on this shirt, and then I was like, oh, this jacket will look nice, because it's really cold in that classroom. So somehow I look really nice today. So, no reason, just a weird sequence of events. But anyways, so it is Tuesday morning. I am on my way to anatomy, uh, like, uh, well, technically it's anatomy lab. Um, and it is 827 and I just left my neighborhood. So I guess normally I turn it on when I leave the house. So I left earlier than that, but anyways, uh, so I am way to class and today I have anatomy uh, lab and then we in between classes we're gonna have a SCOTA meeting that is our um, student led I guess you know general hygienist association kind of <laughs> um, and uh, so We'll have that. Um, we're, basic, we're mostly going to be talking about um, the fundraising that we do. There is some sort of a meeting. I'll, I'll obviously know more this afternoon, but um, there's like a, like a convention, conference, something like that. And um, we um, sell electric toothbrushes and stuff like that in order to raise money so that we um, can reduce the cost of the trip. Um, so I can't, I obviously don't know any of the details of where we're going or when it is or anything like that, but um, that is what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, that, that is what the meeting is mostly going to be about. Uh, and then I have pre-clinic we had to turn in our SWAT um, things. Uh, well, I turned it in. It's due today. I turned it in last night online. And um, one of the um, strengths that it was, it was it a strength. Uh, I don't know. I think I said it was a strength. Yeah, because it was um, something that, you know, my other classmates couldn't do. Um, there's only, a, I'm one of the tallest uh, students in our class, 
and um, one of the things we have to do in clinic is wipe down all of the uh, wood surfaces and you have to um, so there's you know a, a tall cabinet and most of the um, students can't reach it reach the top of the cabinet and it's really funny because as I was wiping it down I could actually see the streaks where the other students hadn't been able they were just kind of like you know on tippy toes kind of just you know so I was able to even out all the streaks and make it look real nice because um, I, I didn't even have to get on tippy toes it was so yeah it was it was kind of funny I was like you know because that was hey it was something that I noticed and it felt really good to be able to because I mean the, it's a professional atmosphere and you know those my fellow classmates you know they obviously you want your operatory to look as nice as possible and uh, you know it's not their fault they can't reach the top so um, it just felt really nice to be able to, you know, scrub that top for them, and, you know, disinfect it and everything else, make it, you know, leave it all nice and even and pretty looking. So it was funny. God, my nose is... So anyways, it was funny. I put that, I put other things down too, but it was just kind of funny. I was like, yeah, I'm tall. <laughs> so anyways, uh, let's see. Then, um, oh, weakness I put that I'm not good at um, managing my time in the mornings so which you guys are an obvious you know witness to so but uh, then tonight I will have to be I'll have to work on um, oh I'm going to be working on all well, today probably in between classes I'll be working on the drug cards finishing up the drug cards and then um, I need to do my radiology workbook pages and start studying for the radiology exam on Monday. So anyways, I will talk to you guys this afternoon. Bye. Hey guys, it's Wednesday afternoon and apparently I had the Skoda um, meeting completely confused I had it on the wrong day so it's tomorrow not today so oops uh or Scotta I don't know I don't know how you say it but um so today um in oral facial anatomy we uh played a game which was really fun so um she said this is gonna be the funnest uh the the most fun day of the whole semester uh, so, you know, get used to it. And she noticed that our class is incredibly competitive. We were, you know, split into four teams and then we all had to, uh, you know, of course you wanted to be the team with the most points. So it was, it was pretty hilarious. Uh, and I don't know, it's, the information is not easier. It's not, I mean, there's, you know, actually, you know, it's like we keep getting more and more new, newer information. I don't, I don't know if we just are in the studying mindset, um, you know, and so things are kind of coming better. I mean, obviously we haven't had any tests yet, so I mean, I can't be completely sure that, you know, I'm getting things, but you know. Um, it is fun that, um, you know, we've got all this stuff, you know, that we're learning and we're getting it. It's making sense. Um, there's still some things in anatomy well that I, I understand the concepts but I don't have all of the terms memorized yet um, so I'm just gonna have to sit down with either flashcards or Quizlet or something and just memorize all of these these terms I know 
I'm doing, I know where to find a lot of the information. It's just making it so that I can, you know, regurgitate it when it comes time to just be able, you know, to on a quiz or a test or something like that. So, um, okay. So then in preclinical today, we started talking about doing the intraoral and extraoral exams. And, um, so just all of the things that you have to, you know, palpate on the, you know, the different muscles and, you know, why you look at these things and then the lymph nodes and stuff like that. It was very interesting because, um, when it comes to the, she said, you know, there's you have to know what you're feeling before you can, you know, feel something is off or know what you're supposed to see so before you can know if there's something wrong with it. Um, but there's another massage therapist in the class. Uh, so it's kind of, we're used to palpating. We're used to feeling things. Now, we don't necessarily work with the face so much, um, but the neck and everything else, and we're so used to that. So that's kind of a good thing. I'm like, yay, you know, that's something that I'll be able to, that hopefully will come easily to me, um, at least doing these, the physical parts, the extra oral part, um, might be a little bit easier for me. So hopefully that'd be cool. Uh, tomorrow we are going to, so we did not get to learning the vital signs. So doing, taking blood pressure and heart rate uh, last class, uh, so on Friday, in preclinical pre lab, so today, well not today, but tomorrow we're going to be learning how to do that. There's some videos I have to watch on that. And, hmm, so, um, the, one of the quiz, the quiz that I had to do for preclinical, and uh, we've got another one this week, and um, she, so the, the first one that we took though, um, apparently a lot of people had missed a question uh, on it, so she threw it out. So instead of getting a 90, I got a 95 on it. So yay, that's not a bad thing. Um, but then, okay, so then we have, uh, so, and then the SWAT, di um, the SWAT reflection, she had graded it and I got full credit for it, so yay, that's good. Uh, so it's just overall it was a good day. I think things are starting to settle in in my brain. I don't know how to really explain it. I don't know. Things just seem to be making sense. Uh, so tomorrow I have a preclinic lab from 8 until noon and then um, she said if anybody wants to stay after class and work on it um, and go into the clinic and work on um, setting up and breaking down. So that's what our first competency is going to be on. So we have to set up and break down the uh, clinic, our operatory. Uh, so, you know, hand washing and all of that. So I just wanted to make sure that I... So I'll probably be staying after class tomorrow. So we'll have the SCOTA meeting and uh, SCOTA meeting and then we'll have the... Uh, and then I'll stay after to set up a break down the clinic. So tomorrow will be another, well, it won't be as long as today, but it'll be another long day. So, uh, and hopefully I will make the instrumentation video. Of course, it'll probably already be made by the time that I publish this one, but hopefully it'll be up. And uh, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow.